coin back at it again. Welcome back to the coin cave. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy and sell coins on eBay and avoid potential scammers. So, I've had a lot of luck on eBay in the past. I've bought a lot of lots of coins off there, a lot of silver coins, and a lot of old Canadian and US coins. So, what I'm going to do is I'm teach you guys the do's and don'ts for shopping on eBay when it comes to coinage and silver bullion. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready because you guys are about to be in for a wild ride. So regardless of whether you're a new coin collector or you're an experienced coin collector, um, I'm hoping this video can help you out because I have spent countless hours on eBay looking for deals and uh, auctions and lots, whether it be for Canadian coins or American coins. So I'm really hoping this video can help all sorts of people out. So basically, I'll start with the basics. This is obviously the home page. When you scroll down, um, it has some of your saved searches. You can see I have a lot of coinage saved onto my home page because that's basically all I search for is coin related items at this point. And you have deals sections, outlet sections, um, something related to eBay bucks, which I'll discuss at a later time. But what I will show you guys is some of the top things you're going to want to search when you are looking on eBay. So basically right now you can see there's a little message about COVID-19. That's the hot topic right now. But nothing else too crazy that you want to get into other than that. So what we're going to start with is we are going to search for one of my most common searches, which is just a straight up coin lot. Now, not very specific at all. And this is what you get when you pull that up. This is what you're going to see very common are things like this. So you can see big, huge piles of miscellaneous silver looking coins and I got to tell you that these are all big time misleading so I just wanted to show you because as a new coin collector when you start collecting these are uh, this is what you're probably gonna see first and this is probably gonna trap you in so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to select ending soonest and auction whether you're on a mobile device or a computer and as you can see on the right there, it'll tell you the amount of time left in the auction. And then I prefer doing it this way because usually you can get the best deals. This is one of my big secrets definitely is if you don't already know this one, you got to watch the auctions and you got to try and catch things on the last minute, especially the things with no bids. So this one looks really fancy. If you look at it, it has a lot of variation it has a lot of different $1 bills. Whether they're all real or not, I'm not sure. has a lot of certifications of authenticity and stuff like that. But, you know, it's a little out of my uh, realm of expertise. I'm not an American expert on coins, nor am I Canadian, but Canadian is definitely my specialty. But you can see a lot of the same here in these link descriptions here, these pictures. It's a lot of the same, these big, huge entrapping coin pictures that make you think that you are going to get all this amazing stuff now this one here you're definitely going to want to click on the sellers and check out the ratings you can see this guy doesn't have any ratings so you're going to have to leave that up to your own discretion if someone hasn't made any sales or transactions whether they're a scammer i mean that could be real if you're an expert i'll leave that up to you but as you can see here we'll scroll down all of these are ending later and later so let's search something else now what else can you search here another good one that I like to search for is just straight up silver coins at first I like to be vague especially when you're searching for auctions it's best to be as vague as possible and not specify on US or Canadian or any specific country because you want to be able to get the cheapest possible deal on silver coins so as you can see when you just type in silver coins usually it will just jump you automatically to us but even if it doesn't a large 
amount of the coins on eBay are U.S. They are probably the most popular country of coin to collect is U.S. If you see silver coin lots from other countries, you definitely want to watch out because not everyone is aware of the years that silver coins were made in Britain and Sweden when you're dealing with Swedish ores. So you definitely want to do some research on that and make sure that you're buying the proper years for silver minted coins if that's what it's being advertised as. Because the advertisements don't always match what you're getting, especially if they haven't done their knowledge. So I'm just showing you guys here what it looks like when you scroll down. You got a mercury dime right there, uncirculated, 90%. Now, is it uncirculated when it's in a coin slip like that? You can't trust it. I mean, it looks like it's in good shape, but uncirculated. I'm going to need something a little better than a coin flip to tell me that. You'll see some commemorative silver Australian kangaroos and stuff like that. And sometimes you'll see stuff from Japan and other commemorative countries. Now, if you do your research, those can be a really good deal to get cheap silver, but you got to know what you're looking for. So, lots are definitely good to search for as well. So, when you search for lots, what that means is you're getting, hopefully, a lot of different things for a good value. But a lot of the time, people will throw in a lot of variety of not-so-good things for a not-good value. So, right now, the price of silver has gone down and is starting to go back up and it is in very high demand so that's why silver is getting pretty pricey even though the spot price is low the buying price is fairly high right now there's not a whole lot of uh, it's, pr it's not a great time to buy coins on eBay but there's never a bad time you can find a great deal at any time that's why I highly suggest eBay for buying coins it is definitely one of the epicenters of buying and selling coins in coin buying and selling so let's start getting into Canadian coins here what you have is that's a very good deal right there I'm gonna make a video on Canadian tokens eventually but they're definitely something you want to watch out for you can get a good deal on those fairly cheap so what I'll do is I'll try and show you guys some of the things you want to watch out for if you can get good deals on whole rolls whether it be pennies or uncirculated nickels or dimes from certain years especially the silver years I'll talk about some of the prices with you guys that you want to watch out for as we scroll through and I find some of the good stuff now as you can see right there on this five cent forty dollars now is that worth it you really got to do your research I know that there in 1926 is two varieties but I'm not sure about 1933 so with those ones you got to be crazy to pay forty dollars for that one so that right there, that's not too bad of a deal, but you got to think $20 straight out of a roll for the whole roll. So is that that good of a deal? This isn't too bad, but what does he want? Four fifty for about what? A buck fifty worth of nickels there. Hmm. I see two, two octagons. That's nothing special. And I can't even, and he doesn't even have the, he can't even see the years. The picture's so bad. So I would avoid that. If you can't see the years, definitely don't get it. Uh, that one right there. You see a lot of large Canadian pennies. People are crazy sometimes, but they're asking for those. They're not worth more than about a buck or two, depending on the date. The uh, pre-1900s are worth a little more. You see a few more of those colonial tokens I was talking about. Those are quite desirable. They can cost a pretty penny. Most of them are from the uh, early and mid 1800s. That's why they're so desirable. Had a 50 cent there. So let's see what they got on here for silver coins. Now there's that 50 cent that I just pointed out there. That's not a bad one. So in terms of prices, you don't want to pay more than what a coin is worth. You want to really do your research and know what each denomination is worth. Now with nickels, I mean, most nickels, even the early years, the George heads and the Edward heads aren't going to be worth more than a dollar a nickel. And some people are crazy on here. 
what you're seeing here is you're seeing a lot of Whitman coin books. Now these can be a good deal if you check out what's inside of them. But a lot of the times people will mask coins that aren't very valuable inside of these folders. Now this isn't too bad of a deal because you get some silver in here. But the folders are only worth about 5 bucks a piece. And then you got to add up all the silver in terms of face value. Now... $10 in silver face value in Canada is worth about $175 to $200 currently. So they want, I believe, $45 for these three books. And I don't think that the, the three books and the scrap silver price is going to equal up to even half of that. So, and then you add the $10 shipping on top of that. But let's see what else do we got here quarter for $30 a silver quarter yeah now that's not too bad of a deal unfortunately the shipping isn't specified but these Canadian proof sets the silver ones which would be pre-1968 they can be good to look out for if you can get one for cheaper than $25 then you're getting a good deal so keep an eye out for those even the US ones too if you can find a US proof set for $25 or cheaper look at this deal right here this isn't too bad at all this is what you want to look out for so these are only going to be 50% silver, but you are only, you're paying less than $5 each. These are worth about $4, I would say, in scrap, maybe $3, but that's not too bad of a deal. You're paying 3 bucks shipping, so if you can win that auction right there, you're getting, a, you're getting a pretty good deal. So this is the kind of stuff you want to look for right here, where you are not paying too much more than the scrap value of the coins and these are pretty desirable too the uh the 50 percent 1967 centennials i'm a fan of them i would buy those myself right there and check out this auction right here i'm going to be keeping an eye on that because that is a good one if you can score that you're getting those for five dollars a piece now what you usually want to pay for the silver canadian half dollars is I usually pay anywhere from seven to ten dollars. I won't pay more than ten dollars for these things. So, if you can get it for around that price, I say you're getting a pretty good deal. So I can tell you right there that that is a very good deal. But you always want to make sure to check out the buyer's seller rating. You can see here, hundred percent positive feedback. He accepts returns. There's a lot of other people watching this deal, so you're going to be competing if you're bidding with these people. And I can tell you, sometimes it ain't fun when you get into the last minutes of these auctions. These guys are brutal. So, we'll search a few more things for you guys. This is going to be a multi-part series. I'm going to make a few of these eBay videos for you guys because I do so much of this eBay shopping. You know, I'm going to show you guys what to look for. So, there's one of those U.S. sets I was talking about. So, this one is 1962. Shipping is 10 bucks, so for me this would be about 25 bucks to get, depending on if there's import charges or not. Now that's not too bad of a deal for me. I picked up uh, a few of these a little while back. I think I got a 1959 and a 1961 Franklin uh, Franklin half dollar proof sets. So these proof sets can be good if you're trying to stack silver too, but you definitely don't want to pay more than 25, 30 bucks for one of these. I would say. So, definitely want to check out the descriptions for all of these guys, too. Make sure there isn't any hidden little fine print in there that says you're only getting the envelope or only getting the paper or something like that, because, you know, that's really big. Is you guys want to make sure, especially with coins, that you guys check the descriptions and you read all the little things because you don't know what you're actually buying and you want to make sure that all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted because if they are not, you might be getting ripped off, so... Definitely don't want to be getting ripped off. So now let's see what they got for silver half dollars because sometimes you can get a good deal on eBay for lots of whether it be Kennedy or Roosevelt or Walking Liberty half dollars. If you can get these for around five to ten bucks each, or even uh, sometimes you can get them cheaper if you buy them in five or ten dollar face value lots. You want to watch out for that. Now, is that actually from the U.S. Treasury Department? I doubt it. So 
So we're not seeing anything else too crazy here. This is what I was talking about now. Unfortunately, the shipping would probably cost a fortune for me. I'd probably have to pay import charges, but if I didn't have to pay, that'd be not too bad of a deal. A $10 face value for 150 bucks. That's kind of what you're looking for, especially if you're in the US. That's what I'm looking for in the Canadian half dollars. All right, so just a few more things we'll go over here. I wanted to just show you guys when at the beginning, when I was showing you guys those big lots, the ones that are very eye catching that you just grab your attention right away and you think that you're going to be getting the best deal ever. You are not. So let's check out this one at the top. Now I haven't bought any of these yet. I'm probably going to do a few videos where I buy some of these big lots and open them up for you guys to see what kind of value you actually get. I know some of the other big YouTubers do that and I have been looking into doing that myself at some point. But you definitely want to read the descriptions very thoroughly on these ones. Usually these are only good for video unboxings and stuff in my opinion. But this one actually isn't looking too bad. Four different 50 year old US coins. So this one's looking like you're actually getting a decent amount of silver, but I didn't, I, I can't remember how much the price was at the top, but we'll see. Two. Now, if these are all separate from each other, they don't specify how big the silver bar is, so it could just be one gram. Silver bullion, so probably nothing too crazy. The canvas bag doesn't really matter. So this one isn't too bad of a deal, honestly, in terms of some of the deals I've seen out there. This is, for a new coin collector, this might not be too bad of a deal. You can see some of these, uh, these right here, these sets. Stay away from these sets. They're not worth it. They look nice. I mean, if you want to put them in a frame or you want to display them, sure, but they're not worth your money. I've seen this one multiple times. All right, look at this seller rating right here, 95.6%. So that's going to be the first indication that this is not going to be what you are looking for. So he tells you you get all this stuff right here. One Mercury or Barber Dime, three Buffalo Nickels, one Liberty Head Nickel. So... So far, one silver I've seen that they're giving you. At least 20. So no Canadian or American. So they're going to give you probably a bunch of garbage foreign that you don't even want. And 15 coin supplies. This is a $50 value for only $20. Best coin lot price on eBay. Well, this is what you want to avoid right here. Because you, like the silver is all right it's worth a buck or two but everything else is basically not worth more than face value there isn't going to be anything in there that hasn't been extremely picked over already the picture is just probably pulled off of google images or something like that what if you typed in coin lot on google images so those are what you want to avoid basically you definitely want to read the description of those thoroughly you can see here one of those big a big lot of those sets that i was talking about now, this can seem appealing to a new coin collector. They're all wrapped up nicely in this plastic. They have nice displays with nice pictures. But the actual coin value inside is barely worth anything more than face value. Like that penny set right there. You're basically buying $1 worth of pennies or less. Wrapped in plastic with a little piece of paper display. So $199. It's not the seller's fault. He doesn't even know what he has probably. He doesn't know the value of it. And to someone, they might be worth that. But to me, they're definitely not. And to you, I would suggest not buying those either. You probably just want to buy large lots of silver coins is what I would suggest. And what I wish I knew in the beginning when I started collecting is that what it's all about is silver scrap coins, if you are a coin collector, in the beginning at least. Now, I'm not even going to get into graded coins in this video in terms of PCGS and NCG and stuff like that. I'll probably put that into a separate video. So another thing you'll see, see people search sometimes, you'll see people do unboxings on eBay or uh, sorry, on YouTube is these right here. 
Now, I do not think any of these are unsearched. When you see an unsearched role, like, are you are you going to leave an unsearched role? I'm not going to leave an unsearched role. I'm going to search every role, and I'm going to carefully rewrap it. And I'm, I'm not trying to say don't go on to my eBay page and don't buy my unsearched roles if I sell them, even though I can guarantee you I'm never going to sell unsearched roles on my eBay page. But I can guarantee you if I did sell them, they would not be unsearched. Come on now. We're all adults here. Let's not play that game. I mean, if they want to include some goodies in to make the value worth it for people when they open it to make it seem fun, then I appreciate that. But unsearch. Psh. So let's check out the silver bullion prices right now. You can see right there, those are very desirable here in Canada, the TD silver rounds. I'm definitely going to get my hands on some of those, but that's not a great price. Right now, the silver price, you don't want to pay more than probably 27 to $30 Canadian for an ounce of silver, which is usually around the going price, but sometimes you can get it for 22 to 25 bucks if you really look out. So, not seeing anything that really jumps out here right now. What I'm trying to do is find some fake China silver, which you definitely want to watch out for when you are buying and selling silver on eBay, mainly buying, is that you are not buying silver from China because that silver is mostly fake or will be very low quality and tainted with other metals. So make sure that when you buy your silver bullion, whether it be in rounds or bars or whatever it may be, that it is coming from a reputable country, mainly not China. So you can see here to me at first, it looked like I was going to get a great deal there. I saw $22, but that's uh, US 22, which comes out to 31 Canadian plus the shipping. So not quite worth it for me. But if you're in the U.S., hey, that might not be a bad deal. 22 23 bucks for a silver bullion round. We got some other silver rounds here. Nothing too crazy. You're not seeing a lot of variety these days because most of the silver has been purchased up. But I will say that I've got some silver maples off here for 25 bucks Canadian a little while ago, which is just about the cheapest that I've paid for silver bullion so far. We got TD or the pig there. All right, so there's a quick look at what you're going to see when you look at silver bullion or silver round, sorry, on eBay. And then one more thing to top this off. Most new collectors will want to put their coins in something, and most of them will choose Whitman coin books. And I search for these quite a bit, and people probably wonder, if you're not buying them straight from the Whitman site, what should you pay for them? Now, I'd say don't pay more than $5 each for one of these things. You probably want to get them even cheaper than that, somewhere around $3 or even cheaper. If you go to your local coin store, you can usually find them for around 5 bucks or less used. So sometimes you can get good deals on these. If you can get like 10 for 20 bucks, that's not a bad deal. Even if you're getting a variety of Canadian, Canadian and U.S. books, it may not be bad for the future to have those books because when you're coin roll hunting, you can find foreigns in your box if you're from the u.s you can find canadians and vice versa in canada you find u.s so nothing too crazy there so basically i'm going to show you guys this one last thing actually because this is extremely desirable in canada if you guys haven't heard about this yet i just wanted to show you guys so one thing they do here in canada is they do special mint wrapped rolls they probably do them in the united states as well but in 2012, when they had the last year for the Canadian penny, they released 20,000 specially minted rolls. Each one of those rolls were marked with a special number from 1 to 20,000. And these have become extremely desirable here in Canada. The prices for these can go up big time. So if you have number, I don't know what it is, number 20,000, I think, sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. So if you have certain numbers on your roll then it can go for a lot more money depending on if it's roll 1000 2000 5000 if it has a certain number on it so i just wanted to show you guys that really quick because i thought those were really cool but people are crazy what they charge for these things on here so see if they have any of the other special wrap canadian rolls because the wrapping on them is uh really cool too and Usually the rolls will be very low mintage. So they'll only, they'll only make about 5,000 of the rolls. 
I have a few myself actually of the 50 cents and some other uh, denominations. So they can actually be really good if you're looking for some low mintage stuff to hold on to is to grab a few of these special rolls. There wasn't too many there, but we'll see if I can get a few more here. Oh, there's a 2006 penny one, but you can see it's going for 50 bucks. When you bought it, it was probably 250. One of the ones that I definitely want to get my hands on is the 2019 Equality Roll. Now, the Equality Loonies are just an absolutely beautiful loonie. I, I, I don't know why, but I just love the design on them. So I definitely want to get one of the special mint rolls, but I don't think I'm going to be getting it off of eBay. I can see some U.S. mint wrapped rolls here. So I guess the U.S. does do special mint rolls, but they look a little more plain than the Canadian ones. Well, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. I uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit from this about buying coins on eBay. Not so much selling in this video, but like I said, this is going to be a multi-part series. There's just so much to cover when it comes to this that I'm probably going to have to make up a bit of an itinerary on what exactly to go over because it can be a bit overwhelming. But I just wanted to let you guys know that some of these prices that people put on here are just ridiculous. And I wanted some people to have a bit of a better idea than I did when I started what exactly to look out for. So I'd like to thank everyone very much for watching along and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Other than that, that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.